So, I'm Adam Bartlett and I'm designer for Crepe City and Ropes Laces. Oh, well, I've always been into shoes from a very young age, a lot of like football kicks and then when I was in early teenage years and starting to go into adult sizes I used to buy two to three sizes up just so I can get the better boots really and it just evolved from there. I remember always looking at the size dead stock sale before I'd found out about the forums or later on the Facebook pages and then it just escalated. I remember I bought a pair on eBay when I was at school, uh, just clicked from there really, went into the forums. Never really bought anything on there, but it was a great experience and Facebook pages quickly came along and then where I am now. I don't see myself as a collector. This is just because just it's a collection of shoes. I don't aim to buy every shoe ever. You know, this isn't Pokemon. You're not out to catch them all. I buy what I like. I buy what I can afford buy what I can get my hands on. Yeah, I don't really like the in phrase as a collector. I don't have half as many pairs as some people around the world and in Crep City. So yeah, I don't collect. I'm just a guy who likes shoes. Uh, for me, it has to be this, the Air Max in one. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the size dead stock sale, I always remember seeing these and the red pair. Um, I could never afford to buy them then. I think these were released back in 2009. I picked these up in the late 2010-ish, I think. Um, they're a great shoe, so the shape's a bit fucked now as I have worn them an awful lot, but they are a great shoe. Um, blue and white, as you might know, I sport West Brom, so it's just a shoe that means an awful lot to me. Um, I like the fusions of technology. And yeah, it's just an overall nice kick and I can still wear them now even though they're a tiny bit too small but only half a size, so. Hmm. I'll start with these. So the Hannon Wildcats. Um, a great shoe, picked them up recently. It's the most I've ever spent on a pair of shoes. Um, I got them from the US, luckily. Um, they're a UK 11, so they're half a size big, but I don't really mind because it's a pair I've been looking out for for a very, very long time, and I've never seen them in this good a condition, you know. Been worn a few times at best. Yeah, I've worn them myself a couple of times. I'll bring them out to an event sometime, but yeah, these things are a great pair, and I can't wait for the pair in November, which are just these, but blue, so it's just perfect for me. Um, so yeah, this isn't really a top three, it's just like three of my favourite pairs. I've got, it's like for picking which kid's your favourite, but yeah, again, only in Soho. So I think Foot Patrol did a cracking job on these and well, there's fur coming out of them. But if there's rumours true that another colourway or only in Soho 2 is coming out, I can't wait to grab that. Um, just think a gorgeous shoe, I think the blue just pops. Okay, it's a subtle black upper especially on this side I love the speckled sole I actually find they fit quite nice and are really comfortable so I love them I need I do need to get a pair and this is one of the only pairs that I would honestly double up on when I have the cash um, which you could know a lot of people do have UK 10s hint in so I may be buying them sometime soon but yeah and finally the pair that's in its own little area Book of Wands, so totally DS, never worn from 2002. It's weird how some of the nipples just degrade, but such a gorgeous shoe, and I think they just sum me up as a person. You know, very minimal, three or four shades of grey. Really nice tongue logo that I think is just beautiful type, and the whole meaning behind the pack is just incredible. And yeah, I can't, I really can't wait to wear these, even though I know that when I do, they'll probably in disintegrate or start to crack but you know they'll come out sometime I didn't pay an awful awful lot of money for them in comparison to other pairs but I think they're just straight up gorgeous yeah probably one of my favorite Air Mac ones of all time Ooh. 
tough one for me, but I think I'd go for a, a Gel Light 5, and this is the outdoor pack. Um, these mean quite a lot to me. I picked them up from Kith when I was over in the US. I think they're just, again, <laughs> a plain as hell shoe. Nice materials. I think they hold up quite well. I've worn them an awful lot before, but yeah, I think Gel Light 5 is a super, super comfortable shoe. I think it's a staple piece in anyone's collection. Yeah, I think they'd be just nice to live in. I think they go with a lot of outfits, if that's what we're going on. Um, they'd hold up well, comfortable as fuck, and yeah. Cool. Oh, for me it has to be good old Nike. I think they're creative, the, the creative and innovative brand. Um, I adore the heritage of the brand more than any other. Um, and yeah, if you were to ask me one brand I'd have to live in for the rest of my life, it would have to be Nike. I don't really like this term again. I think a sneakhead is something that's quite personal. Again, I don't think you can call yourself one. I think you have to be called it. I think it's obviously a love for trainers and a passion for more than just buying putting on Instagram, flipping on, I think it's got to be something that stays with you and you do it throughout your entire life. It's not just a hobby or a, a pastime. You don't aim to make anything off it, but it's just something that, it just happens. I think it should be natural and you shouldn't have to force it or have to buy things for other people. I think it's just, yeah, I think you are. You either are or you aren't. I don't think you can ever develop into one or, yeah. That's a tough one, I don't think there's any correct answer. Um, I think they're just a passion. I think it's something that I'm passionate about and have been for a long time and I see myself being it for the future. I think that's the one thing I think, and I'd say with a sneakhead, like I don't think I'll ever not be this in love with shoes or even more, you know. I might go to work within the profession and you know, work with brands such as Nike. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what they mean to me. It's an obsession, it's weird, it's freaky. People don't understand it. We only others understand each other. Yeah, it's weird. For me, it was a little bit of a different one. It was a common project, Achilles Lowe's. Um, an off-white upper with a white sole. Um, it was the highest pair I've ever paid at retail. I think it was 255 for these. Again, it's premium materials um, and a great shoe. Really simple again. I think it reflects me well as a person. Um, you know, it's a bit more formal. And that's really what I wanted. Just something a bit less casual, but could still be worn quite casually. Yeah, I think it's a great shoe. I've been wanting for quite a long time, and just looked at the cruise to get them. Again, I don't really like the term grail. I've got a lot of shoes that I want. I think the one that's standing out for me and has done for a long, long time is the white um, MX1 Powerwalls. Uh, I think they're just, again, are such a clean shoe and the materials and the emboss and debox just look amazing, you know. I know you've got them yourself and it's just one pair that hopefully when they come up in my size I'll have the money and I'll be able to just cash out on them. Just the, the I love the grey silvery sole and the pure white uppers, it just looks super. Crep City to me is a massive community. It's someone that I've got a lot of passion for, you know, working closely with the team and, you know, as part of the team. I think we can only get bigger and better. I think we've done an awful lot for the UK scene and the UK scene's done an awful lot for us. I think it's all about the people, you know. Event after event's getting stronger and stronger. I see the barbecue where we all just got together and I think that's the great thing. We've all got this this the same passion about shoes however how many of many however old we are however many pairs we've got we all have that passion you know i love the fact that we can meet through shoes and then become friends that can talk about a lot more than shoes that's what i really like yeah well 
Well, what have I done for Crep City? <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm only joking. You know, Crep City has been a big influence in me getting into shoes. I know that when I started the first forums, I was on was a Kicks, the Kicks Exchange forum, and I think it's just built from there. It's that community element that you, you you wouldn't have if you were just a guy that went into sizes or wherever every week and bought a pair of shoes. I think it's it is that community that no matter whether you are just starting out or you've been in the game for years and years it just brings people together and I think that's what's good well I think it's the strongest it's been in terms of community but in terms of the scene and the culture I think we're at a weird stage at the moment where I think a lot of people just want certain things, which is quite weird. I know there's always been the shoes that people have won, whether it was a couple of years ago when all the Air Max 1s were really big, just as they are now. But it seems like you can't sell anything unless it released last week. You can't sell anything unless it's, you know, it's going for hundreds of pounds. And as I found out myself, it's just, it's quite a weird stage at the moment. And I don't know where it's going. I hopefully it'll level out. But I think people just need to expand they're thinking a bit more. I think people are a bit single-minded. Oh, we just want Yeezys or we just want whatever. I know I've seen it recently, like Independence Days are starting to come down a lot now in, in price and in stature, I feel. But yeah. Well, I think the obvious answer is reselling, but I think it's bigger than that. I think Without reselling it as a culture of itself, the sneaker community and culture wouldn't be anything. I think it needs that type of turnover to tick by, but I think the thing that I hate is people that are just purely out to make money of other people. You know, stores may only cost them £30 to make a shoe and they sell it for 100 but it's not right for us to do the same. I think if there was much more of a community vibe, I'm not saying like, Give everything, give pairs to people for free, or just keep hooking them up for retail. I think there would never be an evolution. Things would never get to change. But I think less people just out to make money out of other people for the wrong reasons, rather than doing it to help them out. I don't think I have a dream collab in terms of two companies collaborating together, but I'd really like to see a lot more of brands like Norse Projects, you know, design focused brands, brands that focus on materials and aesthetics, collaborating with brands such as Nike. So I think sometimes with collaborations now, it's like a lot of people say, if, if it wasn't for the name, they'd just be a general release, they'd just be, there's nothing special about them, there's nothing that's really innovative. I'd like to see, you know, the use of materials and quality and, you know, as they did with New Balance, where it was actually a really good shoe. But I just like to see more shoes based around things that, you know, haven't been done before, rather than just colorways and color blocking. However good that might be, I think it's premium materials, new materials, innovation on a shoe, rather than just making a pretty picture. Well. Wore these yesterday, the Magista Footscapes. Um, I think they're a great shoe. As soon as I saw them, I knew I had to have them. I just love that fusion of technology and that football element, which has come through with the Magista, which I said like really what got me into shoes and just being fussy with what I put on my feet. I think they're a great shoe, comfortable as hell. You know, they're quite ninjery, but I quite like that. And I think they're just a overall a shoe that people will look at in and out of the culture, they're quite weird, you know, they look a bit like a shark. But I think they're just a comfy as hell shoe, I think they look amazing, yeah. Nike, every day. Asics. Oh, big up ropes, but you know, old flats every single day. Saucony, Puma, Ooh, Pata probably, 
Oh, Air Max 1. Maybe Jedi 3. Um, Pat Power is every day. I don't really like Amsterdam's. <sighs> Tough one. Um, Foot Patrol, I guess. It's the tight, tightest one out of all these questions so far. Oh, UK collabs every day of the week. So, like I said, you can't decide between Hannah and Foot Patrol, so UK collabs. Probably 998s. Oh, jeans. Every day I think they look miles better, even though they're uncomfortable. It's got to be Tinker, but you know, I appreciate Ronnie and what he does. Sneakerheads, I guess. Who wants to burst a high beast? They'll like fit battle you or some shit. Um, power walls. Mm. Bits of both, but vintage older pairs over newer pairs. Oh, Nike, every day. No, I wouldn't. I'd have any pair of the Nike Yeezy over both pairs of the Adidas. Um, I think everyone likes a collab. I think if it's done properly, it's better. Um, even though I've never camped for a pair yet, I'd prefer to camp for a pair than go online any day of the week. There's that much bitching about now. Oh, Jordan 1. Uh, one again. LeBron James. Uh, oh, it's an Air Max 90. Now I finally know what it fucking is. Have you changed the pair? No. Oh, Dizzy Rascal, Air Max 90. Boom! Is that right? Oh, this is a new balance, I believe. Uh, oh, this is my Kith Strike 998, I think. Yeah, I think so. This is going to be stupidly hard because I can't see what colour this thing is. It's a flux. And they're all exactly the same. This is either black or this is either white. I... Can I smell them? They're consortiums. No. Yeah, consortiums, I think. Set there, £140 if you want them, let me know. Oh, racer. And again, you've been absolutely horrible. Ooh, I know what they are. My Oreo racers. Oreo! Because they're scuffed there. And that's the left shoe. So I fell out of a go kart store if you have, nearly died. This is the last one. You've been really horrible on these, but. The... Oh, this is a. EQT. No. Yeah, EQT, Soul Box. No, box. 